as someone who like was the stereotypical perfectionist kid, that was really freeing for me, I think. My name is Jeffrey Martin Noble. Yeah, so I was in college um, and I was reading a blog that I'd found. Um, it was talking about um, basically how really controversial or um, emotion-provoking ideas, or specifically anger, um, motivates people to engage with something. And one of the points it made was that this blog writes about a lot of things, and one of them is charitable giving, and those are the posts that are least read. Um, and I kind of thought about it, and I was like, that seems bad. I should probably go read this post. Um, and that, that post basically made the point that you can do something concrete and good, um, and that um, it introduced me to the idea of the Giving What We Can pledge, um, and made the point that 10% is a significant amount of money, and it's also very achievable for many people um, who you know, earn a lot in, in uh, the developed world. And doing that was, was uh, more, probably more useful than, than continuing to pursue some path of perfection. And as someone who like was the stereotypical perfectionist kid, um, that was really freeing for me, I think, and I agreed. I was like, yes, I can, I can do some concrete good, and like, that's probably better than, than being right. Um, and uh, so at that time, I, I, I remember I was sitting, I was at my, my desk in my house on winter break, um, and I had a, a graph paper notebook, and I wrote down on that that uh, when, I, when I had a, a job that not counting my like few hours of TA in, in undergrad, um, that I would donate 10% of my income. Um, and then when, when I did actually have the job, I officially took the Giving What We Can pledge. I took the Giving What We Can pledge officially in 2016, um, but I actually uh, took it myself, I think in 2013, but I just wrote it down on a, my notebook that was at my desk. Um, at the time I was a student, uh, and I know that they have the student options for giving what we can, but um, my income at the time was from TAing some of the time, and I thought about the amount of money that would end up amounting to and the, my potential future earning and decided it made more sense to not do that yet. And I'm also the type of person who like, if I made the pledge would be like, no, I definitely have to do this. And so I was like, I'm gonna make my own pledge, which is like, as soon as I have a real job. So I made it officially in, in 2016. Um, and have been donating since then. There's something that I really like about having done something specific and concrete, um, and I think that you can um, you can make charity a, a big part of your life and not take the pledge. Um, I think something that I really like about it is that it means that I've I've already made this decision and I don't have to relitigate it every time. And so it's like, this is just something I do. Um, I do my taxes and then I donate 10% of my adjusted gross income. Um, and I think that that's actually really nice because it's, it doesn't require this additional emotional energy. And I think there are lots of, lots of things in your life that you're gonna have to be making big important decisions. And like, this is one where you can kind of make it once and then you don't have to really think about it too hard again. Um, not that you shouldn't think about where you're giving your money, but like I like to set up good defaults. So like, even if I uh, get really busy or depressed or something, I'm I've still got some good defaults, and it's like okay, I'll still my my default mode of operating in the world is still going to be helpful. I mean, I think maybe I've I've said this already in some form, but I think the the idea of choosing something specific and actionable and doing it is better than a continued search for the perfect. And I think in our society, a lot of the time, people focus more on being right than on, on doing something. And like, I think you can say that maybe, uh, maybe you haven't found the most effective charity or maybe um, you know this, this whole framework isn't quite right, but like, if you go and donate 10% of your income to charity, that is doing something concrete and good. And if you come up with a perfect moral theory and haven't done anything in your life, like maybe you did, maybe you didn't succeed.